First, visit the website uniswap.org. You're going to select the pool option now. Then you're going to click on the Add Liquidity button. Now we're going to be able to select the token to which we'll be adding the liquidity to. In our case, we're going to be selecting AMPL. But there's a whole selection of tokens to which you can add to. We select Ample. Now we're going to define how much we're going to add. This can either be defined by the amount of Ample you have or by the amount of ETH you have, but they have to be equal amounts in dollars. If I select the maximum ETH, I need 594 Ample. I don't have that. So we're going to go with the Ample I have. I have 337, which requires 1.15 ETH. I'm just going to confirm the supply. A window is going to pop up next in MetaMask. We're going to have to confirm the transaction on MetaMask. Transactions on the blockchain are a little bit expensive right now, but I'm still going to add a little bit more gas to make sure that it goes through faster. I'm going to hit the confirm button and now the transaction has been submitted to the blockchain. I can close this window, but I'm going to view it on the Etherscan. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to open the Etherscan window. I'm going to be able to close this window now. I still get a reminder of the transaction. I like opening the Etherscan window because I think it's easier to track what I'm doing. This is the window right now. And as you can see, the transaction is still not on the blockchain. This can take a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on the congestion of the network. But recently, the ETH network has been really congested and uh, the fees required are a little bit higher. Once the transaction has been confirmed, you're going to see the next window where you're going to be able to validate how much ETH and how much Ample went into the liquidity pool. This is kind of like your receipt. And that's going to be on your record forever. If we go back to the Uniswap website, we're going to be able to view our liquidity pool, how much ETH and how much Apple we have. So we just click on the pool button and we hit on the drop down menu and we can see how much ETH we have in the liquidity pool and how much Apple we have. Whenever we want to remove liquidity, we just come here and select the remove option. And we're going to do that on another video once a few days have passed so that we can see the results. That is all. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's super simple. Thank you very much.